Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, today I want to talk about why I collect. Uh, there's many reasons why people collect things. The main reason why I collect movies is that from since I was a little kid, I liked and I loved movies. So it was just natural for me to start collecting movies. The reason behind it is that I was buying movies. Uh, it started with DVDs. I started buying DVDs. And that evolved onto collecting them. There was movies that I never watched or couldn't watch them on in theaters, or they were just not available for uh, you know near me or or at all. So then I will find these movies and then I'll buy them and I'll keep them because to me it was cheaper to just buy, it, keep it, watch it a couple of times than going to the theater or something like that. Uh, the second reason why I started collecting was with the Disney movies. Um, it's kind of funny. Um, I started an eBay business and I was just selling stuff, uh, random stuff. And Toys R Us had a great deal where if you pre-ordered a movie, you got a coupon for the next movie or a coupon for that day. And then Disney will also give you a coupon on a specific movie. So it was just a bunch of coupons, uh, Toys R Us and everything. And I was buying two, three movies of the same one selling the other copies and keeping one for myself. So I was kind of doing it just to buy movies. So that was one reason. Then I just started getting into the Blu-ray and the quality was really great. And to me, it was cheaper just to buy it than then going to the movies, buying popcorn, soda. I could watch it a couple of times. I'll have the special features and all that. Then it started with uh, special editions on the Blu-rays. So then that evolved to that part. And right now I evolved again, and now I'm buying, or I'm trying to get some of the special exclusive editions of certain movies like Suicide Squad, this is a HD Zeta. There's a lot of companies out there that produce and make these uh, movies. So that's one of the reasons. Uh, I do see a lot of benefits of me collecting. Um, it keeps me organized. Uh, it's a hobby. You do have to keep in track with your hobby, so you can't just go out all crazy and just start buying. Uh, what I did to kind of diminish just buying in bulk is I looked at the top 100 movies of all time. So then I started looking at that, buying those movies, collecting them, watching them, enjoying them. So that's that's the whole purpose of my collection is that pretty much all of these movies that I own or movies that I want to watch. Some are blind buys, but because of other people that I've read, hey, this is a good movie, or maybe you will like this movie. And it's just not like the genres that I don't like, I pretty much don't collect unless uh, it really sparked my interest. Uh, there's, I really don't like that many romantic movies. I do like Disney movies, animation, sci-fi, action. So I have a lot of those. Um, now I'm starting to get into more of the horror uh, genre. I don't have that many, but I'm slowly growing into that, um, into those movies. So that's one of the main reasons why I started collecting. I know people have asked me, why do you have so many movies? Why do you collect? Why don't you just stay digital? Um, yeah, you could just stay with Netflix. You have YouTube, you could stream them, you could pirate them, you could tour it, you could download them. There's a lot of different things, but like with, uh, Criterion's Filmstruck, it just went down. I actually want to have the physical copy. I want to have the physical copy because I know that Netflix can change the movies that they have this month or Disney can start their own service and then Netflix doesn't have them now streaming. So I prefer to have the physical media. So I have that sense of, of you know, secureness to have it with me. And I know I'm going to be able to watch whenever I want without any worries. I know that these movies are gonna be there. I'm gonna be able to watch them as long as I have electricity, a TV and a player, um, I'm gonna be good. That's that's the other uh, factor. Um, I, I also collect because they are films, shows or documentaries that are not available online or any other place. And that happened with VHS onto DVD. There was movies on VHS that never came to DVD and possibly will never come to Blu-ray and so on and so forth. So 
there's some movies that are really rare that they'll probably not be online. Uh, some of the Criterion movies, there's, there's a lot of movies that don't have a digital reference. There's no digital form. There's no other way. So there's a lot of collectors out there with DVDs that have great collections where there's DVDs that are out of print. That's it. The company is kaputs. That's it. We will never see those movies again unless somebody picks that DVD up or the original film and transfers it to Blu-ray. So I do have some 4K, but um, I really don't see any gigantic leap from like, for example, DVD to Blu-ray. So I mainly collect Blu-ray. I do have a 400 mega DVD player. It's a Sony, it's a beautiful one day I'll make a video. And that's where I have all my DVDs. I don't have the cases anymore. I got rid of those. So mainly, just to uh, recap, I started collecting movies because I was selling them. And then I liked keeping some of them for free because I was selling the, you know, the rest. I started collecting them because I love movies and I really enjoyed watching the movies and it was like an investment on myself pretty much. It was cheaper to just buy the movie than to watch it at the theater, buy soda, popcorn, drive and all that when I could just watch it at my house. The secureness of having a physical media and not rely on digital. So that's pretty much it, what I like to collect and why my collection is growing. So. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing. Bye-bye.